Well, we have had a little bit of luck. There is a male lion moving inside this silly drainage that we've got here, which is ridiculous. I don't know how we're going to keep up with him. I'm going to try to go into the fire break and just sit on the fire break and hope for the best because he crossed in here and I can't see him already. So I'm going to try and just get around and just see if he doesn't pop out on the fire break for us. I can't see even who it is. I just saw a shape of a male lion crossing the road. I don't know whether it's Tinio, given that Tinio has been the one that's been hanging around up this side. So I'm going to just stop here and hope for the best and that he comes straight through. He should be popping out somewhere in this general vicinity on my right hand side. And hopefully the gremlins stay away because we are in gremlin hollow. So we're just going to go into infrared as I just try and scan around. I'm hoping he doesn't go behind us, so we'll just check out behind and make sure that he's not coming that way. But I don't see where he's gone now. He came in, and then he just kind of disappeared very quickly. So, mm -hmm. can you see him? Oh, there he is. So he's just crossing over in front of us. So there it goes. It's actually not Tinio. By the looks of things, it's either Nena or Potentia. I think Nena is the one that I'm going to go with but I might be wrong. Let's try and keep up with him though. It's gonna be really tough. The way that he's walking is super fast at the moment. So we're gonna try and keep up with him. He's already crossed up and over towards Gari cut line. So, I'm just gonna, oh, sorry, sorry, Bim. We've got a little bit more bouncy than I thought it would be up here. And second gear in Rusty doesn't seem to be working, but you see his nose down. So I think he's tracking the Inkahuma Pride. The Inkahuma Pride was seen just north of us this morning, and I think the Inkahuma Pride is actually on Juma. It's probably been on Juma the whole afternoon, which is a bit frustrating in some ways, but at least he's coming out of the thicket. I'm not 100% sure which Birmingham boy it is at the moment, but it looks potentially like it could be Nena. That's who I think it is, just given the shape and the, of the mane, but I could be completely wrong. But you see how his nose is down? I wonder if he's not going to lead us straight to the Inkahuma Pride that could potentially be somewhere in this general vicinity. So you will see a couple spotlights that are on him. Now those spotlights are from the other vehicles that are with us. There's a couple other vehicles that are following him. And so we're going to stay in a color for a little bit of it just because with their lights, unfortunately it ruins VM's infrared quite quickly. So we'll just try and keep light on him for a bit but you see look look how he's got his nose down and you see how he's sniffing and having a little look and trying to just work out what exactly is going on but they stop now just turning south Willow you say last minute line exactly where is very fortunate that he decided to turn south. It's also we're lucky that the wind is blowing the direction that it is because this wind is blowing from the southern side and that will mean lions generally do this is that they'll walk in a southerly direction into a wind if it's blowing from that way. They like to walk into wind not with the wind because the wind then carries their scent with them. So we're going to try and keep up with him. He's going to go through a lovely delightful block. VM, you, there must be something about you in this block because this is where VM followed the wild dogs the other day with Ali. So there must be something about this area that call, is calling Viem. Viem, why are we always going in here with you? Oh, sorry? It's an adventure. Okay. Well, we're going to try and keep our adventure going. I don't know how well, long we're going to keep it up. It, 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 this first section is the tough section. Once we get through here, then as we go over the crest, it actually becomes fairly pleasant towards um, Juma Dam, so he is heading towards the dam cam. That's kind of roughly where he's going. It's going to be difficult to keep up with him though because there is a lot of very, very big logs in here and you've got to be really careful about doing that. Right, now I'm going to try and keep up with him and try and just negotiate this initial patch. Hopefully we'll be able to keep him and keep moving with him. And while we do that, I believe Ali has left Tumba and has now moved off and has got his spotlight out. We are trying our level best. This lion is not slowing down for anybody. He's on a serious mission. So he's right in front of the car and his nose is down the whole time. So he's definitely following the scent of other individuals. Now, VM, we're going to have to... Oh, jeez. I don't know how we're going to get... Um, hold on. We're going to have to try and just reposition ourselves slightly here. It's not an easy place to negotiate because of 
all of the fallen over trees and there's lots of monkey orange and I thought we had just cleared the worst of it and that's why I said to Megan we'll be okay from here but it seems as though we're back into the horrible stuff again. Viam, you alright there? Sorry, Vildi. So I'm just trying to dodge and keep Viam out of the sticks as well which I'm not really doing very successfully but there we go. He's just in front of us now so that's good news and he's still just walking with quite a bit of intent straight to the south. So he's heading, I would say, towards Gauri Dam. That's his kind of general direction. I wonder if we're gonna bump into the Nkuma Pride at some point here. The way that he's sniffing, he's picking up the scent of somebody. Now, I'm still not 100% sure as to which one it is. So I think it is Nena, I'm, or could be in Suko, I'm not sure. It's difficult with seeing the backside all the time. Um, I'm not 100% sure. The only one that theoretically could be in Estrus is Amber Eyes because if you think about it, the youngest female's currently got young, very small cubs, so she's not going to be in Estrus. And all of the older lionesses at the moment are looking after their cubs still. So their cubs are big and they are almost sub adults, but they're still dependent on their mothers. So they're in a situation where they are still looking after them and so they not sh theoretically shouldn't be in Estrus at the moment and therefore we should have a situation where it can only be Amber Eyes if there is a lioness in Estrus. So that could be the situation. I don't know whether it, that's what's going on here. Maybe he's picking up the scent of one of his brothers. I'm not 100% sure. It's difficult to say. The Birmingham boys move around so much and the way he's got his nose to the ground though, he's definitely scenting somebody or something. So he's got some sort of nose that for something and whether it's prey animals or females I'm not quite sure but given that he was lying exactly where the females were this morning and he's got a situation where his nose is to the ground females haven't been found maybe that's exactly who he's found at the moment oh, oh come on but it is rough in here I can tell you that much we're gonna try and follow him as long as we can and as far as we can. It looks like he will go towards, like I say, Juma Dam side or Gauri Dam. That's where he's basically heading. But of course we've got a situation where we're gonna have a lot of monkey orange at some point as well. So hopefully we're going to be able to keep up with them. Sorry, Vildi. Now Vildi just gonna have to try and sneak Let's see, not ideal through here at all. And you can see how he's changing direction again. So while we work out which way he's actually gonna go, let's go back to Ellie who's also got her spotlight out.